Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have this sparkly neutral smoky eye with a little pop of color on my waterline. I wanted to show you how you can add a pop of color to your looks. If you're scared to wear color, this is a great way to just introduce a little bit of color to your life. And I kept the rest of the look really nice and neutral. So I hope that you guys enjoy this look. And if you want to stick around to see how I created it, then just keep on watching. I'm going into the BH Cosmetics Hanging in Hawaii shadow palette. The first shadow I'm picking up is Shaka. Going in with my Sigma E38 Diffuse Crease Brush, I'm going to start running this shadow through my crease. I always start with a transition shade, something that's a shade or two darker than my skin tone. I just find that it makes the other shadows that I apply more blendable and adds more dimension. I'm now going into Maui. And then I'm switching over to my Sigma E25 and I'm going to start applying this through my crease. When I apply a darker shadow through my crease, I kind of start lower down on my crease. And then I do windshield wiper motions all the way into the inner corner. And then I start doing circular motions to start distributing that shadow up and really buff it out. And while I'm still using the same brush and the shadow, I'm just going to pop this onto my lid. And then always going back into my transition shadow. So I'm picking up Shaka on my E38 once again and just applying that at the very high point of this crease. That's just going to help blend everything out and bring back that slight warmth that that shadow had. For my lower lash line, I'm picking up Shaka on my E54 medium sweeper brush and I'm going to sweep that along my lash line. And then picking up Maui and sweeping that really close to my lash line first and then smoking that down. I'm going to the Urban Decay Moon Dust eyeshadow in Lithium. Look at how beautiful the shadow picks up. So now I'm just going to apply this right over top of my lid. And then I just like to take a brush and kind of just pat into my crease and then lightly sweep to make sure that the shadow really blends out. And then picking that shadow up on my Sigma F70 concealer brush, I'm going to apply this on my lower lash line. I'm going into the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Vice. I'm now going to line my lower waterline. Now going into Hoola. I'm going to highlight my inner corner with my F70 concealer brush. Look at how beautiful this inner corner highlight is. I'm now going to apply some mascara and false lashes, and I'm using the Tati Lashes and TL21. And that's the eye look done. So for lipstick, I'm going to go into the BH Cosmetics Cashmere Cream Comfort Lipstick in T. I haven't used these in so long, and these are some of my favorite formulas. They feel so comfortable, and they last all day. And that is it. This is a completed look of my sparkly neutral smoky eye with a pop of purple. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love how the look turned out. Honestly, you could do this look with any type of colored liner on your waterline. It would look amazing with honestly every shade you can think of. Or you could just leave it out if you're afraid to wear color, but I'm telling you, try it. It makes you feel like a different person. And this Urban Decay eyeshadow on my lid is to die for. I honestly want to live in it. This is such a perfect shadow just to pop on your lid when you just need a quick kind of smoky eye. It's so beautiful. <laughs> so if you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, that'd be right here as well as down in the description box and also list up all the products today today along with my brush set with Sigma, my Plain to LA favorites brush set that I used to create this look will be listed down below for you guys to find everything easier. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload. And I think that should be it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.